Hey, how are you all doing? Hi, Luisa. <laughs> Loving your show for the castanets. Hi, Alison. Back, Ailey, Christina, Ursula. I think I saw you in the first class, guys, Christina and Ursula, but have you been in, in previous classes? I'm not, no, it's your first class? Okay, do you mind to unmute or maybe I can unmute you so I can hear you? Because, uh, so Christina, you said you, you haven't been in the, in the other classes? And no, not the castanets. Not in the castanets. So you've been in the, so that's why, yeah. Okay, but uh, do you know, have you been doing castanets before or is your first part? No. <laughs> good. So it's a good place to, it's a good place to start because we're doing, um, yeah, kind of foundations of the castanets. How about you, Ursula? Have you been? Uh, I did uh, one workshop, but it was very quick, so. You did a workshop? Yes. Okay, so it's just what I recommend you guys as well is to, to check the videos on YouTube from the previous classes because then you can work slower and then you can stop and rewind and all that, which is really the most important. It's just about building this uh, uh, knowledge of the, the parts of the castanets technique and then just repeat, repeat, repeat. And I normally say it is not very very sexy to say but there's not much talent on playing castanets very well it's true <laughs> i mean then when you're dancing with them there's obviously the talent obviously the talent that you put in your dancing and your soul and everything but in general it's about when you are just doing it here it's just about repetition and getting better getting better getting pe better with the exercises that you become really confident and really hi Gemma. hello Gemma, I got your email. I just didn't have time to reply to you, but I promise I am on it, okay? <laughs> but just so you know that I didn't, I, I didn't forget it at all. It's just that I've been like, until, you know, just really, really overwhelmed. But I, will, I promise I will take care of it tomorrow. Okay, great. So let's get started. I'm just putting my customers as well. Let me change the camera so it's more suitable for the... The, to see my hands. Okay. I'm changing this. I'm going to put you to mute all, but remember that you can just ask me any question at any moment. And in this class, we are less than in the other classes. So it's way easier to just uh, have um, interaction easily. So just feel free to stop me and ask me anything you want to clarify. So yeah, remember guys that uh, the, there's a mark in the right castanet in the middle yeah that says that that's the that's the right some castanets if they are very very beginner ones uh, they don't have the mark but in general they should okay so that tells you which one goes in which hand so the one with the mark in the middle is the one in the right because they have different tone they have different pitch so that's why it's recommended to do uh, the right in the right one and the left in the left one okay good mm -hmm. Anyone uh, left-handed today? You're right-handed? Good. You are left-handed? Okay, Dalit. So you can decide either to learn the technique doing with the right, the movements that I'm doing, or just transfer all the movements to your left. Okay? I know it's a, very, it's a bit confusing, but I've seen uh, both options. The people that are left-handed and they play with the left, so they do the ria with the left. Or people that decide that you know for the sake of making it easier and because they are a bit like they can do it with both hands they decide to go with the ria for the right so everything that i do is absolutely the same for you but the opposite so i hope <laughs> it's just that so ta is with the left okay ta is the sound that we do with the left and p is the sound that we do with the right okay so for uh, in general, 
Tarria, tarria. So for left-handed, you just name it in the um, opposite way. Yeah, so tau would be your right and p would be your left. Because when you do the ria, you do with the left and then right. So ria. So ria is called a with, when it comes with a ri. So ria. Otherwise, it will be ta. Yeah, so ta, ti. So for right handed, left hand is called ta and right hand is called ti. For left handed, it's the opposite. Ta is going to be your right and p is going to be your left okay no i'm saying it wrong sorry 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 let me rewind for right handed the normal is uh, the the way i'm doing it so ta is the left ta p is the right p when we do the whole thing is ria so it's going to be ri with the right and a with the left which is either ta or a so tapi, tapi. we'll start and we're gonna do an exercise now to do that so yeah for uh, so for left-handed so your ta is gonna be the right and your p is gonna be the left so ta the right p the left and when the left becomes the re so re oh i'm rubbish doing it sorry re ta re ta re yeah, I'm terrible at doing it. I promise that I try to because there's people that play the carretilla with both. But I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm still not there. I need to work on that. Okay, so we're going to start with the tapi, 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 just to warm up. Remember to play with these two fingers to keep your position as much as you can here. Okay, I'm going to be doing this is just the first position and your hands should be comfortable in a nice first position your core should be engaged your shoulders down and that's the position that we're supposed to keep but okay you can relax don't worry and me i'm gonna be changing the position so you can see me better what i'm doing okay so tapi 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 with the two fingers in the middle so left right left right left right left right tapi 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 you should get a clear sound just one sound one tapi 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 be careful with these guys with moving your wrist no it stays in place tapi 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 two three four five good now let's do the tapi tapi again but we're going to do now with each finger of the of the carretilla hand so of your dominant hand if it's the right you just do p with the first with the with the pinky and then ta pi 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 ta for left handed exactly the same start with the left Pita, pita. Ah, that's actually a good exercise for me. Pita, pita. Yeah, that's for left handed. Good? Okay. So we do pita, pita, pita. So we start with the finger of the hand of the carretilla. Are you ready? Seven and eight. Pita, 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 pita. One, two, three, four. Last time, two, 
Let's just carry on with the pita, but now we're going to do pipita, pipita. So we're working on that bouncing, that rebounds, that instead of just one, it's going to be double with the hand that you do your carretilla, okay? So in my case, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Yeah, for the left-handed, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right. Good? Okay. So very similar to the exercise before, the previous exercise, but just doing it instead of one, one each hand, double single, double single, double single. Okay, ready? E. Gonna do exactly the same with the next exercise that we did. And so the pita with each finger. What happened? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was my little one. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry. She just came running and my hat was trying to try to catch her. And then I heard like, oh, I heard my it's okay. Give me <laughs> there you go. So, uh, so yeah, now pipita, pipita, again with the four fingers of the hand that does react. Okay, so pp1, pp2, pp3, pp4, pp5, pp6, pp7, pp8. One, two, three, four, five. Seven and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna remember the four, and we're gonna combine them. Okay. So eight times each. So the first one, pita pita pita. Yeah. So right left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After the first eight, we change to the next one, which is same, pita, but with each finger of your carretilla hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we change to the pipita. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and the last one, the fourth, is pipita with each finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready to go the fourth together? So I'll be counting. I'll help you a bit. I'll say change. So then we change, yeah? And then we're going to be repeating. So we did a bit of a tabla de castañuelas. So mm -hmm. like with a tabla de pies, but same with the castanets, okay? Ready? Here we go. Seven and eight. E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if you see me okay, but my connection on this side is going like very slowly. So I'm talking faster than the customers are going. Can you follow? Or is it yeah? It's okay? Good. Okay. So let's do it once again because I was it was making me very nervous because I've, I saw myself like a bit of a, uh, in a slow-mo. 
Okay, <laughs> so it's like I hope they can do it well. Yeah, that's it. So one last time. Seven, the whole thing. Seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Change and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and change. Four, five, six, seven, and change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Okay, good. So that's the call it the tabla of the pita. Pita, pi, pita, whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna do we're gonna introduce the carretilla. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Meaning one, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, Ursula, for you the same, but with the left. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, to the action of the car of the carretilla. Ready? E. One, two, three, four, five. 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 E, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Good. So now we're going to combine this with the ria, but very open, okay? Very open, independency of the ria. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, ria. One, two, three, four, five, ria. Okay, so they independently and then all together, but still spread your fingers. I do it. So one, two, three, four, five, ria. E. One, two, three, four, five, one. E. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, five. E, one, two, three, four, five. Ria. 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 E, one, two, three, four, five. E, one, two, three, four, five. E, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Just, just uh, adding up uh, something else. One, two, three, four, five, ria, ria, pita. Okay, so same as we were doing, but we're just adding the repeat it and then pita. Okay, right, left, or left, right in, in case of left, left handed. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, pita. One, two, three, four, five, ria, ria, pita. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Spread your fingers, like really, like, you know, if you're like, if you're a cat, you're not saying meow, you're saying meow, okay? In this exercise, this exercise is the slow meow. Then later on, when we're doing the carretilla, we can do this meow, okay? So it's just like super fast. So nothing like the cat is really, you know, opening the fingers. So, you ready? E, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, ria, ria, pita. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Remember the position. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So let's add just one last more challenge to this exercise. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Ria. Ria. So the meow and the meow. 
Okay, so I don't have a cat, but I suddenly saw that image like it's gonna help me. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Ria, ria, ria. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then it's the ria, so the four together. But it's absolutely the same dynamic in the three exercises. Is the four fingers working independently at different speed, okay? So first speed, one, two, three, four. Second speed, ria, ria. Third speed, yeah, all together. So that's uh, why I thought it was, you're supposed to put it in one exercise so you can see like the progression to build your technique uh, and then go faster. Okay, good. So this last one, E. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ria. E. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ria. E. One, two, three, four, five. One, Sorry, I did pita. Sorry. E. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ria. E. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ria. E. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Meow, meow, meow. One, two, three, four, five. Meow, meow. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I hope the analogy of the cat helped you to remember. It does help me. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to do just chip it up. Just a bit. Just to wrap it up. Okay. So, the chin, I uh, remind you that it's just... One castanet is clicking with the other. We're just clicking. We don't click exactly one in front of the other. Sorry, one in front of the other. We click the right a bit over the left or the left a bit over the right. You can decide, Ursula, what is uh, easier for you. Normally, you also do the left over the right because of the, it's just completely the opposite to the other hand. Okay? So the team B. So basically, just not to get lost, the hand that does the chin on top is the first one that does the golpe. Okay, so if my right is going over the left, it's the right who is uh, doing the um, the golpe again. So chin pita. In the case of the left, it's gonna be the same. Left, left, right, left. Left over the top, left, right. And for the right handed, right next to chin, right, left. So chin pita, chin pita, chin pita, ria, ria pita. Let's try this, okay? Uh, chin pita, chin pita, ria, ria pita. Let's just do two, okay? So chin pita, chin pita, ria, ria pita, chin pita, chin pita. last exercise before we finish carretilla chimpita 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 the real really is four times okay but it's just a, a stick try to stick i mean just go with your fingers as much as you can but try to stick to that time frame i'm giving you so chimpita chimpita Chimpita, chimpita, okay? So it's just to, to help build a constant timing in your carretilla. Good, ready? 
Esto es de las one. Es muy típico one. Eh, y. Pimpita, pimpita. Pimpita, pimpita. Pimpita, pimpita. Pimpita, pimpita. Pimpita, pimpita. That's it. Well, so good job. That wasn't easy. Okay. So I'm giving you a lot of material also to work if you want with the videos. And so, yeah, YouTube channel, there's plenty of videos there. All the classes are recorded and also some videos about just uh, castanet technique and the name of the parts of the castanets, which is quite useful just for general knowledge of the castanets. So thank you so, so much. Join the Open Flamenco project on Facebook. So you can keep updated if you haven't done so, if you want to, obviously. Uh, this is our group, our community. I'm thinking that when all this is finished, we're going to make a big party in central London. I promise you that already. So I don't know if you are, <laughs> if you are based all based in the, around London, but I'm just, I'm starting to plot in that. So that makes me, uh, uh, gives me happy thoughts in dark moments. So <laughs> thank you so much, guys, for being in this Castanet class. I'm really enjoying being able to give Castanet technique and for being keen on learning Castanet technique, which is really good and not as popular as flamenco. So have a lovely rest of your evening and hopefully see you on Thursday or next week. Okay, take care. Well done, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.